So today we're going to be taking a look at a fragrance from Mansara. This one picked up quite a bit of hype when it first came out. This one is going to be Instant Crush. Now, when you look at the note breakdown and even when you smell this one, you'll already see what this one is going to be compared to. And that is, of course, Baccarat Rouge 540 by Francis Kirkjohn. We're going to go ahead and review this one today. I'm going to tell you how it smells, how it performs, when you can wear it, and ultimately if I think this one is worth picking up. And I do want to let you know we did shoot this video in collaboration with Fragrance USA. If you want to pick this fragrance up, you can get it over on their official website. We've worked with them multiple times. If you are unaware of Fragrance USA, they are a primarily niche centric discounter. So they stock stuff like Mansara's, Creed's, Zerzhoff's, Nishane, and so on, these kind of harder to find niche brands. And they bring them to you at a discount. You know, it's not a website that brings them to you at full price. They are already discounting them on top of any sales that they're running currently, meaning you can get a lot of these niche fragrances for unbeatable prices. You can get this one over on their website. If you use my code CFIC20, you'll get 20% off of Instant Crush, both in the tester bottle and in the full presentation. Again, it's already heavily discounted over there. And if you use that code for 20% off, you're going to be saving even more money. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump right into this one, starting off with how it smells. Now, when you first spray this one on, what you'll notice right away is if you are familiar with Baccarat Rouge 540 is that there is a similarity. I mean, you don't have to be super, super into the scents to pick up on that. I mean, it's pretty apparent right off the bat where the inspiration from this one came from. Right up top, you get some saffron, you get this amber wood, you get a little bit of a citrus, that primarily being a little bit of bergamot, a little bit of orange, but that's not really the focus here. It's not the citrus, it's the saffron and amber wood kind of composition. And it creates this somewhat transparent, kind of sweet, um, just different overall type of smell. It's when you smell this, and when you smell something like Back Rouge 540, it's very different, you know? It is something that, you don't smell everywhere else. It's not your typical citrus woody opening or you know citrus lavender or anything like that. It's a different and distinct type of smell and that's something that you do get right in the opening of this one. Along with that saffron, along with that amber wood working into the mid and following that into the dry down, a little bit of vanilla comes through and also primarily for me, a little bit of rose comes through. Now. For me, the rose in this fragrance isn't too strong and it isn't too kind of jammy or sweet. It's more of a fresher leaning rose. And and for me, that's a good thing. I'm not always the biggest fan of rose in fragrances. If it is going to be something that I do like, it's usually going to be a fresher rose and it's usually going to be kind of more in the background. And that's how it is here with Instant Crush. It's not uh, a main player. It's not at the forefront. It's just kind of supporting in the base to give a little bit of support and a little bit of a difference to everything else going on, that being the saffron and the amber wood. And of course, there is a very primary musk smell in the dry down as well, kind of like what you would get from Baccarat Rouge 540. Now, the differences between this one and 540 is that this fragrance here has that rose and it also has more of that prominent vanilla. So I find that this one goes in a bit more of a sweet, not quite gourmand because there's nothing really edible about the saffron amber wood, but there's gourmand touches to it, kind of from that vanilla and then that rose supporting it as well, but it's you know not something I would consider a gourmand. It just goes in a bit more of a warm and sweet direction where something like Baccarat Rouge 540 is a bit more transparent, light, and just doesn't have that sweet depth in the dry down. Uh, this fragrance here, Instant Crush, like I've said about a lot of Mansara's, has that signature Mansara smell. So when you smell a Mansara fragrance, you'll know that it is coming from Mansara and Pierre Montal, who creates all of these scents. It just has that signature type of smell kind of in the base and same thing here with this one. So, you know, it does have that kind of different twist on the DNA to where it does separate itself from 540 quite a bit from that vanilla, from that rose, and just kind of that sandalwood mixture in here as well. It makes it quite a bit different. So if you have 540, this one is still a potential purchase for you if you like 540 and you want one that's going to be a, just a bit more sweet and warm, especially more for the fall and winter time, this fragrance did, does give this nice kind of sweet depth to it, which again makes it good for the cooler weather. You'll also see this one get compared to Amber Fever by Mansara. So same fragrance house, and there's a slight comparison. I mean, 
You'll get it a little bit, but Amber Fever is much, much more sweet and it does differentiate itself quite a bit. So between the two, while there are some slight similarities, I would say they kind of do their own thing. And my preference between the two would be Instant Crush. Amber Fever isn't bad, but it's not one that I'd find myself reaching for like I would with Instant Crush. So let's go and talk about performance. This one is no de parfum, like all Mancera scents, and the performance is no joke. Again, just like most, if not basically all Mancera fragrances, they're all very strong. This one is no exception. I'm talking 12 plus hours longevity. This is a strong fragrance to the point where sometimes it can be a little much. Sometimes it can just be like, man, this is just going hard for too long. Very good longevity. Projection is very strong as well. This will definitely push well past your personal space, your personal bubble to the point where people, you know, multiple feet away from you will be able to pick this one up and smell it. So it's a very strong scent in all aspects of it, like you would expect from Mancera and also like you would expect from this type of fragrance DNA. Baccarat Rouge 540 is a very strong scent as well, one of my strongest, and this one holds up to that same type of criteria of just being very, very strong. You don't have to think a second about performance when it comes to this one. If that's a deal breaker for you is you know not having good performance, then you're not gonna have to even think about worrying about that with Instant Crush. This thing is very strong and quite a bit loud as well. Talking about when you can wear this one, it's a fragrance that you can wear for just about anything, more so kind of in the cooler months, just because it does have that vanilla, rose, musky depth to it. I would say cooler months are good. You know, if you're wearing this in the summertime outdoors, it's just going to be way too heavy, way too sweet. Uh, so cooler months, definitely good. And could be anything from kind of casual to even a bit more dressed up. Just like with 540, that fragrance you can wear dressed up and smell very luxury and very high end. And it's the same thing here with this one. It could also work great on a date as well. I mean, instant crush, it's kind of, you know, has that type of kind of thought that when you think about this fragrance, it could be good for something like that. And I think it would be okay, but I would say more for the casual to dressed up kind of event type of thing in the cooler months specifically. Again, if you're wearing this outdoors when it's warm, it's just gonna be too much. So you'll be able to get your money's worth out of this one. And again, you know, only having to do one or two sprays probably is about it. I mean, this one will last you a long time. Quality is great, the blend is great, just like you would expect from Mancera fragrances. It's like that across the board for me. I've never had a Mancera that I thought was low quality or not blended well. Uh, it's very smooth, you know, from the opening to the dry down, nothing sticks out, nothing smells too sharp or harsh or anything like that. Really well done in all of those categories. Instant Crush is a great scent, and I do think it is worth quite a bit of the hype that it got, you know, especially when it first came out. Uh, it's a really solid scent, very strong as well, and I know a lot of you guys would like this one. So if you have tried this one, let me know what you think down below, and remember, if you wanna pick up a bottle for yourself, go over to Fragrance USA, use my code CFIC20 for 20% off Instant Crush in both the tester bottle, which does come with the cap, and the full presentation. It's already discounted and that 20% off on top of that is meaning you can get this one for a steal. That's gonna do it for me guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.